That left hand pattern I just played is the pattern. You really have to learn that. So I'm going to show you that right now. Are you ready? Come on. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to play C and G with the left hand with these fingers. You're going to use five for the C and you're going to use two for the G together. That leaves this thumb open so that you can play the other note, the A. So this is going from five to six, leaving the C under the bottom like that. It's a very nice little pattern for blues. Now what we're going to do to make it interesting is we're going to play the left hand shuffle pattern which is like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one like that. So the way to do it is to very slowly, very slowly just put your hands together like that first of all and then like this. So if you can get those two patterns together, you'll have this in no time. So it's one and two and one and two, like that. And slowly increase the speed and two and three and four. So once you really get that, take it up to the F. So you just take the same pattern like this up to the F and you're going to play F and C, which is actually just two parts of the chord. We're just leaving this one out. And so the pattern is saying one and two and three and four like that. And then back to the C chord. One and two. See? Pretty easy. Two and, and two and three and four. Now here's the hard part. Jumping way up here to get to the G. It's a big skip. So it's like that. What you'll need to do is to practice that a few times, making the skip from here, just like that. And back to the F, and now a little skip to the C, and two, and three, and four. And here's the big skip again, three and four. Okay, now let's take it up to tempo. So if you're not ready, I want you to stop the tape right now and practice. When you are ready, come on back. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, and. And chain. Back to C. Good. Two, three, and the F. Two, three, four. Keep counting. And the C. One, two, big skip. You did very nicely. Now that we've learned this shuffle pattern for our left hand, let's add some chords in the right hand. The chords we need are the C chord, the F chord, and the G chord. Now there are two hip things we're going to do to make this pattern very easy to play and to make it sound good. First of all, to make these chords sound good and bluesy, we're going to add an extra note. We're going to add a flat or dominant 7 on all these chords so we can get that authentic funky blues sound. So the way to do that is the first chord would be C. So the C as that for a scale, well the seventh degree, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, will be flatted or lowered to that note, giving us the dominant seven or flat seven. Now on the F scale, which is our four chord, we just learned one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To flatten that seven, we just lower it here and play our regular F triad. And then put the seven right there. Now for the G, which is our five chord, what we're going to do is to play the triad and the scale. Here's our, our seventh note of the scale. We're going to lower that too, flatten that one too, and that's going to give us a G7. Secondly, we're going to play these chords in a way that allows us to keep our right hand in a position that doesn't move all over the place. When we do this, we are playing these chords in inversions. That means when you stack up the notes of the chord, you play them in some other arrangement uh, other than starting with the root. Let's see how that'll sound. This first one is in root position. So that's C, 
E, G, and B flat, B flat being the flatted seventh. Now we want to go to the F chord. Now normally the F chord's up here, one, three, five, and flat is seven here. But we're gonna, what we're gonna do is take this F chord and bring it down here to a closer position uh, that's close to the C chord. So it's gonna be here now, starting with the fifth in the bass. They're the exact same notes, they're just arranged differently. So that'll be C, E flat, F, and A. So coming from the C to this, it's much closer and easier to get to. So you might want to just try that for a few minutes to just go back from C to F, C to F. Okay, now let's find the uh, G chord. The G chord is normally up here, one, three, five, and flat at seven. But that's way too far away from this C that we have down here. So what we want to do is take these exact same notes and rearrange them so that they fit very close to the C chord as well. And that position would be here. And that, those notes are D, F, G, and B. Same notes, just arranged differently. So the bass note would be D. So let's try going from C to F to G, particularly from F to G, from F to G, F, look at the fingerings, to G. Now that we can play each hand separately, let's try this pattern with both hands working together. You may find it a little difficult to hit the right notes while looking at one hand or the other. Don't worry, with a little practice, you'll be able to do it without looking at all. But for now, keep working on it and observe your hands and make the adjustments to play it correctly. You may find it helpful to stay on one chord for a while and then move to the next chord after you get the hang of it. That's okay. Just be sure that eventually you're playing the whole 12 bar pattern. Let me show you. See, I'm making the adjustments. Skipping a little bit with the left hand, but not with the right hand. And skip with the left hand. Back to the C. Again. And to the G. Big skip with the left hand. To the F. Back to the C. G. Great. Let's play it up to tempo now. So if you need to practice, it's a good time to stop the tape and practice. But if not, if you're ready, let's get going. I'm throwing in a band just for fun on my keyboard. He's going to count it off. Here we go. Quick change. Now that we played this 12 bar together, let's cut to the videotape to check out the real band doing it. 